So 32 years ago, back in 1983, I wrote one of my Stop Smoking Clinic follow-up letters that was titled, You Smoke Because You're a Smokeaholic. And in there, in the opening paragraph, I put down a bunch of reasons that people gave me when they would come to clinics saying that they smoke because of this, they smoke because of that. The last one I put in there was, you know, one, and I, the way I wrote it was one truly unique woman who told me she smoked it because it helped her to breathe better. And I kind of said that jokingly. It was said to me, but I just, you know, I kind of mocked it at the time. Well, it turned out the person may have been telling the truth. I don't know for sure if the chemical was added at the time, but we now know that one of the additives in tobacco is cocoa. Now, many people would think that cocoa was just added as a flavor enhancer, and cocoa can serve that way, but it's more than a flavor enhancer. Cocoa can release a theobromine, which is a bronchodilator. And people who smoke cigarettes will take this chemical in, it'll help to open up their airways, well, it, it helps them to get nicotine in better. It makes it, in a way, a little bit more addictive if you can get more nicotine in. The, more, the deeper you can inhale, the more nicotine you can get in. So it's one of the reasons it's added is to help people inhale nicotine. Well, if you're dealing with a person who has some sort of constriction in the, bronchi, in the bronchus, in the bronchioles, if that happens, well, smoking can actually help open up those airways and make it easier for them to breathe. Now, it's interesting, though, because people who are using it this way, and maybe subconsciously, not knowing it's happening, they're using it to help them breathe. The way they're helping themselves breathe is by taking in a bronchodilator, along with thousands of other chemicals, many of them which are literally destroying their lung tissue, and that process over the long term is going to take away their ability to breathe. It's going to turn them into, over time, pulmonary cripples. It can result in chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, uh, bronchitis and emphysema, which literally destroys their lung in a way that nothing they're going to be able to do once that happens is going to make them able to breathe better by you know repairing that tissue. That tissue is gone. So for people who may have been using it this way and, and knew it, they, they felt that when they smoked, they breathed better. Okay, it's not in your mind. Maybe it was helping you do that, but understand how it did it. And if it was able to do it, if by taking a bronchodilator in from tobacco made it easier for you to breathe, understand that, well, if you take a bronchodilator in from an inhaler that your doctor can prescribe to you if you need it, if that's the case, it'll do the same thing. And you won't be having to administer it 20 or 40 or 60 times a day, every day. You take it when you need it, when you're having an asthma attack, when you're having some sort of episode brought in by environmental exposure. You take it then, and that's it. You're not taking all the other chemicals in with it. All you're doing is taking something to treat the specific issue you're having, and it really is treating it, as opposed to using a cigarette to do it, which is... Again, while it may be treating the immediate issue, it's doing so in a way that's destroying your lung to cause the, the problem that you're having now and the way that you feel, how bad it uh, feels and how scary it can feel when you can't breathe. But understand, by do, treating it the way you were, you were setting yourself up to live with that as a chronic way of life suffocating until you can't breathe anymore. And that's what it's like at the end. Understand what cigarettes were doing in the one sense, but more important, what they were doing in the entire sense. And the more you understand that, the more you'll realize the last way you're going to ever treat a breathing condition is by smoking a cigarette, which is causing breathing issues. And it'll help you to hopefully finally make the determination that you want to stop and then to stop any future damage that smoking would do. It's a matter of making and then sticking to your personal commitment to never take another puff.